The very first thing we need to think about when we're looking at culture is what this word actually means. Now this may seem like a very simple question because we use the word culture every day. However, it's a far more difficult term to define than you might think. We're going to look at three classic definitions of culture and each one gives us something different and a different perspective on what this word is and what this concept is. The first definition is called the tourist definition, and this is exactly as it sounds. When we go to a different country or a different culture as a tourist, there are certain things that really hit us right away or impact us right away. These are things like the food, the music, the art, the clothing, the buildings, the monuments. These are all the reasons we go to another country. We want to see these things, we want to taste these things, we want to listen to these things. So this is the tourist definition of culture. The second definition we'll look at is called in-awareness culture and out-of-awareness culture. In-awareness culture is exactly what it sounds like. This is the culture that we can see, we can hear, we can feel, we can touch, and we can eat. So this is our art, our music, our food, our clothing, our buildings, and our monuments. This is the stuff that we know is there. On the other side, we have our out-of-awareness culture. This is the culture that, on a daily basis, we're not even aware of. We don't think about it, we don't know it's there. For example, our values, our beliefs, our ideas. This is our out-of-awareness culture. A really good analogy for in-awareness culture and out-of-awareness culture is an iceberg. And you may have heard this analogy before. The top of the iceberg is the part we can see, and this is our in-awareness culture. The bottom of the iceberg, the part that's under the water, is our out-of-awareness culture. And remember, the Titanic was not sunk by the tip of the iceberg. The Titanic was sunk by the bottom part of the iceberg that we can't see. And this is very true with out-of-awareness culture as well. We don't tend to get tripped up by the in-awareness culture. We tend to get tripped up by the out-of-awareness culture, the bottom part of the iceberg. A third definition that we're going to look at has three pieces to it instead of two. And these three pieces are products, behaviors, and ideas. The products, these are the things that we can see and we make. So we make our music, we make our art, we make our buildings, we make our food. The behaviors are things we do. So we shake hands or we bow when we meet somebody, for example. And the ideas are the beliefs and values that, and the principles that drive us and that push us forward. And they, these are the things that reside very much at the core of a culture. There's a really good analogy for this definition of culture as well, and that's the onion analogy. So we all know an onion has layers and we can peel off the layers. And so if we think about the outer layer of an onion as the products of a culture, peel those away, and then we get another layer of the onion called the behavior, and then we peel that away, and at the very core of the onion we have our ideas, our values, and our beliefs. <laughs> 